Welcome back on my How Do I Solve YouTube channel, you music lovers. Today we're diving into the world of Apple Music to explore one of its coolest features, collaborative playlists. This feature you may be enjoyed in Spotify music streaming. How useful this feature is, whether you're planning a party, sharing new finds with friends, or just building the ultimate mixtape together, Apple Music's got you covered. Stay tuned as we guide you through creating and using collaborative playlists, making your music experience more interactive and fun. Let's get started. There are two things you must have to use collaborative playlists in Apple Music. First is Apple Music subscriptions, and second is the latest iOS 17.3, Epados 17.3, macOS Sonoma 14.3, and later version. In short, collaborative playlists on Apple Music is a paid feature. This function allows you and your friends to add, remove, and enjoy songs on a shared playlist. Perfect for any occasion. Let's see how to do this. Step 1. Open the Apple Music app. Step 2. Let's create a new playlist or open an existing playlist. We can access all playlists by tapping on the Library tab that appears at the bottom of the Apple Music dock. Step 3. Tap on Playlists. So here you can see all your playlists, and you can even create new ones from here. Step 4. Here I'm sharing my soothing music playlist to my friends. Turn on Approve Collaborators to approve those you invite to join your playlist. Step 5. Now to invite people, tap on the icon men with a plus sign, or you can go and tap on more options and click on Collaborate. So you will get a screen that looks like this. Here's an option to approve collaborators. Keep Turn Off Approve Collaborators if you want to allow anyone with the link to your playlist to join. If you turn this on, then you must approve anyone who wants to join this specific playlist. Now tap on Start Collaborating. Wait for a while, you can invite others to join your playlist in a message, email, or other option that appears on the screen. For nearby friends, AirDrop is an ideal option. If you want to share with miles away friends, then you can do email and messages and can use other ways. In case you want to invite additional people to join your playlist, tap then go back again on a playlist and tap share invite link or generate a QR code that others can scan. You can see here that this link expires in 7 days. To prevent others from joining with the current link then, you can create a new link by tapping on generate a new link. In my case, I'm doing AirDrop, so to activate AirDrop on both devices from the control panel, and now I'm sharing my playlist to an iPad Pro. So you can see a drop notification appear on another device. Tap on accept. So now your friend can enjoy listening to your music playlist. Now I'm showing you how to accept an invite to collaborate on a playlist. If you share your playlist link via message app, then you have to send it like a text message. Keep in mind that the contact name must be added to your friend's device contact app. Otherwise, an unclickable link will be generated. So your friend have to open Messages app to access the invitation. Just like in my iPad, tap on Join Playlist. If you see approval needed to join, tap Request to Join, then wait for the person who invited you to approve. So friends, let's see if you send a link with an enabled toggle for approved collaborators. This method is similar that I have shown before in this video, but a major difference is that approval is must required to participate in a collaborative playlist. In this case, I generate a QR code for a specific playlist, so a user can scan with them smartphone camera and can request to join playlist. For example, you can print this QR code and, and put it on the stand in the party hall, so anyone can join the playlist. On my phone screen, I get the message approval needed to join. So I'm tapping on the request to join. So what next? Fine, the playlist operator will get a request to approve or deny your request to join the playlist. To grant your request, they have to tap on the green tick mark button next to your name on a specific playlist setting. For example, I'm tapping on a green button. It means that Jacob Anderson's request has been approved. So friends, now I'm going to show you how to add or edit songs in a collaborative playlist. For this open music app on your iPhone next, open a collaborative playlist, tap on the more button that appears on the right and upper side corners. So a list of options will pop up. Now tap on edit. On this screen you can add music to the playlist. Search for music to add, then tap the plus sign next to the music and tap the done button to save changes. So here you can see new song added into playlist. Now if you want to bring it up into this playlist, drag three lines button up or down to reorder songs. For example, I'm putting my newly added song in the second position. Another thing is how to delete a song from the collaborative playlist in Apple Music. If you want to delete a song, then just tap on the red button next to a song, 
then tap on the delete button. That's it. Finally, tap on the done to save the process. Now let's see how to add reactions to songs in a collaborative playlist. On the Apple Music app, go to a collaborative playlist. Play a song. For example, I'm playing Stay With Me. Now tapping on the song that's playing at the bottom of the screen. So a full screen view will look like this. Tap on on the emoji icon to send a reaction. Here you can see emojis. To get more emojis, tap on the plus icon so you can access full emoji keyboard. Tap on any emoji icon. Like a happy emoji, so the animation will look like this. Once again, tap on the emoji icon, so here we can see emoji reactions shared by other users in a specific collaborative playlist. Users cannot undo this emoji reaction, but to change your reaction, choose another emoji. If you go back to the playlist screen, emoji reaction will appear on the next to a specific song. If you don't like a song in the playlist, then tap on the more option next to a song and choose to remove from the playlist. That's it. So this was all about emoji reaction for Apple Music's collaborative playlist. Finally, get here how to stop or leave a collaborative playlist in the Apple Music app, open the collaborative playlist. Tap on the man icon on the upper right hand corner. Now tap on the stop option if you are an owner of the playlist. Or tap on the leave option if you are invited by other playlist maker. Next, a pop-up will ask you to stop the collaboration. If you stop collaboration, other people will no longer be able to make edits to this playlist. To confirm, tap on stop. If you get leave option, tapping on leave so a pop-up asks you that once you leave, you will be unable to make edits to the playlist or react. And your name and photo will no longer appear. Tap on leave. That's it. Now let's discuss some errors that occurred while creating a collaborative playlist in Apple Music. Some users get errors after clicking on the all new Apple Music playlist, not showing the collaborating option. Unable to join playlist. Apple Music collaborative playlist not updating. So I suggest some common solutions that might work for you if you are having problems with the Apple Music playlist in the future. Remove restrictions for the music profile if you can't edit it. Go to settings, tap screen time, click on content and privacy restrictions. Again, tap on content restrictions and choose music profiles. Now tap on on setting to remove restrictions for Apple Music profile edit setting. Now force close all apps and check for Apple Music profile. If the collaborative playlist not updating in this case, there are three things you should check. First is check Apple Music server is not down right now. If it is under maintenance, then the entire Apple Music service is affected due to the server being down. The second thing is to force close your Apple Music app and then restart your phone and check whether your Apple Music collaborative playlist is updating or not. Third is to check for software updates on your Apple devices. Please keep all your Apple device software updated. If someone blocks you, then you will get an error like collaboration unavailable, the owner stopped collaborating, or you don't have permission to open it. In this case, request to unblock your profile to a specific playlist creator. So friend, I hope this video was helpful. Thanks for watching.